Hello guys, this is True Ray back again with another video. This video will be showing you how to take your LG G3 and return it back to stock or downgrade your firmware. So if you're on Lollipop and you don't like it, you can downgrade back to KitKat using this option. And also this unroots your phone. So if you don't want root anymore, you could also unroot it. If you want to bring your phone to get it fixed or something and you want your warranty back, this will also solve that problem. So first off, what you want to do is download all the links in the description. So you would need to download the stock image for your G3. So if you're with Verizon or AT&T or Fido or Rogers or Bell for the Canadian users, you would download the stock image for that. And also the DLL file that comes along with it. Next, you need to download the LG flash tools. This is what you're going to use to actually flash the stock ROM. You need to download all the drivers for your LG phone and the mega lock DLL file. So my phone here is on Lollipop. It's rooted. So Android 5.0.1. I'm going to show you how to go back to KitKat on this and it'll also be stocked and unrooted. So now you want to do is install the LG drivers and install flash tool, but don't start that yet. After you have done that, you want to extract the TOT file from the zip. Now you want to copy that mega lock file that you downloaded to the LG slash flash tools folder and replace the original mega lock file with the one you downloaded. So once you've done that, now it's onto the phone. So make sure you turn off your phone and press the volume up key while plugging the USB cable from your computer to your phone. This should put you in download mode. Next you wanna do is open up device manager on your PC. Go to ports and go to LG mobile USB serial port. Go to properties and port settings and there go to advanced and switch the COM port number to COM41 and then press OK. Now you could open up Flash Tools, which you have downloaded earlier, and run it as administrator. Select manual mode. Click the DLL box and choose the file that was with your firmware that you downloaded. It ends with .dll, so choose that. As you can see here, next is go to next go to add next to the s slash w box the tot file that you extracted you want to add that there and then press ok now click the yellow button to the top once it says ready you might want to unplug your usb out of your phone and plug it back in if it doesn't start so give it 10 20 seconds if it doesn't start just unplug it and put it back and it should start right away once it's done and once it reboots it'll go to a factory reset screen which is a blue screen it might seem frozen, but it's not. All you want to do is take out the battery. As you can see here, this is what I do. And once you take out the battery, put it back in. Your phone should boot up as normal. Just press the power button and boot it up. And that's about it. You're pretty much done. It's pretty simple. It's not that difficult if you follow the instructions. Thanks to the guide on XDA developers, which is down below in the description. If you have any trouble or questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it. But that's it for now. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Remember to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. Take care now. Be breezy.